Hey guys, today we're checking out something fresh from the AMD. It's the RX 9060 XT GPU, which is part of the newly announced Radio 9000 series. And this one is aiming to bring high-end performance to a slightly more reasonable power envelope. But is it really the case? We have the PowerColor RX 9060 XT Reaper Edition on the test bench, and while AMD's charts show incredible gains in modern titles, we'll be doing our own testing to see how this card holds up in terms of thermals, noise, and real-world power draw. Let's get into it. The RX 9060 XT is based on AMD's Radeon 4 architecture, built using TSMC's 4 nanometer process node. It features 32 compute units, 32 ray tracing accelerators, and 64 AI accelerators. AMD rates it for up to 821 tops of peak AI performance using INT4 sparse operations, alongside 3.1 GHz boost clock. You can choose between 8GB or 16GB of GDI6 memory on the 128-bit bus. The 16GB model is priced at US$349, while the 8GB version comes in at US$299. This makes it one of the more affordable GPUs with such large memory pool. Power draw is modest, ranging between 150W and 180W depending on your configuration. Many board partners, including PowerColor, manage this with just a single 8-pin power connector, making it an easy drop-in upgrade for all the system. PowerColor recommends to use at least 500W power supply for the whole system. Connectivity includes PCE Gen 5x16, though realistically the performance class of this car doesn't require that much bandwidth, and X8 interface may have actually made more sense freeing up extra lanes for secondary GPU or other expansion cards. Display outputs include two DisplayPort 2.1a and one HDMI 2.1b. While it's nice to see modern display support, some might actually complain that AMD cut out the fourth port. Realistically though, for card in this class, three is more than enough. Most users will only use one or two displays anyway. There's also the new media engine with full support for AV1, HVEC, H.265 and H.264 encoding and decoding. Plus, MD has baked in the range of AI-powered features from upscaling to frame generation. How effective those are will depend on your workload, but it's good to see them included. Now let's talk about the card itself. This is the PowerColor RX 9060 XT Reaper. It features a stealthy all-black shroud with double fan cooling, a full-length metal backplate, and a single 8-pin power connector. It also features zero RPM fan mode for silent idle operation. The cooler is compact, fitting nicely in most cases, and should offer the thermal headroom needed for the 180 watt spec. So let's get into that, but just heads up, this video is not intended to cover every game. The focus is specifically on the performance of this card and how its cooler handles the load. Right off the bat, in the long Time Spy Extreme loop, the RX 9060 XT pulls an average of just over 160 watts, which is impressively close to the RX 7600 we tested previously. But where 7600 averages 32 FPS, this card delivers 46 FPS, putting it slightly behind the RX 7700 XT, which comes in at 49 FPS. Compared to the AMD's 9070 XT from earlier this year, which nearly doubles the performance at 91 FPS, the 9060 XT clearly belongs in a different tier. But the power draw difference between them is far more dramatic. It's less than half the wattage, making it interesting from the efficiency standpoint. When combining both FPS and power figures, we can look at the performance per watt. The RX 9060 XT ranks well here. It's considerably more efficient than the previous generation cards like the RX 6700 XT and the RTX 3080, but it still doesn't match the surprisingly efficient 9070, which remains an outlier in AMD's stack. Now let's talk thermals. With the stock fan curve, fan speed tops out around 52 to 53%. The GPU itself stays stable at around 70 degrees. The hotspot hovers at 90 and the memory sits between 85 and 87 range. These figures might seem high at first glance, but they are absolutely within the spec for modern GPUs. If you prefer cooler temps, manually setting the fan speed to around 80% drops those values by roughly 10 degrees. Maxing out the fans reduces the temps even further, but at the cost of unbearable noise. Which leads us to the acoustics. This card isn't massively powerful but that actually works in its favor. Even with its smaller cooler and dual fans, it stays whisper quiet. 
it's below our room noise floor at 37.9 dBA in the stock configuration. I couldn't detect any cold wine either, even with my ear right next to the test bench. Bumping up the fan speed to 80% raises the noise to around 46 dBA, 90% to around 48.3 dBA, and at 100% it hits 52.2 dBA. Personally, I'd keep it at stock or tweak it slightly towards the 80% for good balance. Which brings us to the conclusion. The RX 9060 XT isn't a powerhouse, but it nails efficiency, thermals, and acoustics. When I first picked it up, I honestly thought it's a bit too small and a bit too light to handle the heat, but I was wrong. This card could be a fantastic fit for a compact, small form factor build. What do you guys think? Does this belong in your next ITX build, or would you just skip it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you think this card might be what you need, check out the link below for more details. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.